Hi, I'm Steve Johnson, uh, football coach at Bethel University. My purpose in this video right here is, is to tell you how to find a school, to tell you how important that is. I coach in Division II, head coach at a high school. Uh, I've been at uh, Montana State, uh, Division I AA. I've been at the University of Minnesota, and I've been at Bethel for 30 years. I've been hanging out with 20-year-olds for uh, 43 years. It's a great gig. Um, but all that experience helps me tell you how to find a school, and guess what, it's that big compared to the fact that I'm a daddy. And what I want to tell you is, is important. It's, uh, it's important to me, um, and it's important to you, and so listen up, and, um, and let's go. Um, number one, uh, this might be the third biggest decision of your life, and I don't mean that to say, whoa, uh, it's exciting. You, know, you want to attack life. It's one of the things that we talk about. But the biggest decision in your life is going to be a faith decision. Your second biggest one, probably a spouse. If you are a college person, if you're college material, if you're a college bound person, this might be the third biggest decision of your life. Where you go to school, who you go with is going to mark your life. I want this to be incredibly authentic. So you, you get what you get right here. But this is what I feel, this is what we feel at Bethel. Number one, you start with your academics. Be logical, be logical with your academics. Understand this, there's a lot of good schools. There's a lot of good places. The one thing about the recruiting thing is as you guys go through it and parents also, when you, you think about this, this, it's easy if it's this is great and this stinks. Well, duh, I don't know what to, I mean, these are, everybody's good. Everybody's got good stuff. Well, First of all, be logical. Be logical academically. If you want to go into business, I can give you 900 business schools, but you got to dig down and find out which one, you know, which which few will figure. But there's more than one. But be logical. Go to a place that's got your stuff. If you want to build a submarine, don't go to an aeronautical engineering school. Duh. That's that kind of thing that we're talking about. It's important, but there's but there's good possibilities. The second thing, really important, and especially to you, to, to a lot of you athletes, and it, it could be music, it could be something else, but this is important. When you, where do you want to be? Be logical athletically. Be logical with your passion, your kind of co-curricular, your extracurricular, extracurricular. Go to a place where you can, you can be in the mix, where you can do those, do those things and, and find out a place. In football, it's like, find a place where you can play and then give your heart away. Find a place where you can play. Example I give my son, a real good basketball player in high school, he's older now, but coming out of high school, real good basketball guy, if he says, hey dad, I wanna go to Duke, I would say, hey baby, yeah, let's find out, let's see if we can get to Duke. And um, in my heart, I'd be thinking, oh geez, I hope he can't get in. Because, and, and that, I, that sounds like a mean dad, but, but I'm kinda, I'm thinking he can't play. If you really love basketball, don't go to Duke, buddy. Let's get, you know, so that, that all didn't happen and he couldn't have got in anyway, so, so it's all a moot point. But the, po but the point is, be logical. Go to a place, man, where you can play, have a blast. Do they win? Are they good? Here we go. And those things are important. The third thing and the biggest, but they're not separate, it, it just bays the other two because they're all intermingled is the atmosphere. Um, I said at the beginning, who you go to school with is gonna mark your life. It's a big deal, you guys. Know this, we're in a war. Proverbs 4, 23 says, guard your heart because it's a wellspring of life. We've got junk coming here and here. It's settling in here. And man, we gotta break the chains. We gotta, we gotta stink and get after it and figure out how to guard my heart and then grow, 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 and give me away. And you can't do that if you're going to a place where you're not aligned as far as an atmosphere. We have coaches on our staff. Um, they're guys that are young guys, and they're younger than me, but I hang with them. And man, do they, they bless me, and they teach me, and they sharpen me, and that's what you need. You need to go to a school where you're going to be with buddies that are aligned with you so that they're going to sharpen you, and you sharpen them at the same time. These are huge pieces, you guys. You don't want to go somewhere where, you know, everybody's doing this, but I'm kind of over here. And, or even worse, I just kind of fall into what's going on. Get out of that. Make a decision for life. 
We talk about in our football program, if you got a you got a tough decision coming up, pick the hard one. Go do what's do what's a little bit tougher, because that's going to grow you. And not only you, it's about growing others too. So that atmosphere that you're with, we talk about this also. Proverbs, who you hang out with is going to mark your life. Proverbs uh, thirteen twenty says, "He who walks with the wise grows wise. He who's in the company of fools is in danger." Our whole team knows that as the horse and the jackass first. If you hang out with horses, you're going to look and act like them. If you hang out with jackasses, the same is true. If you, you know, the jackasses go, oh, I get so drunk, I can't remember what I did. And he thinks he's cool, he thinks he's tough. He's not tough, he's soft. The tough guy says, you know what, I told my teammates, I told my parents, I told my family, I told my buddies that I was going to walk this way, I'm going to walk this way. That's what a tough guy does. That's what a tough gal does. And that is the difference right now. In our world, we have every, oh, everything's okay. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Get aligned with people that are going to challenge you to be better. One of the things we talk about in our program all the time, be devoted to one another like brothers. Well, brothers, if you have one or know any, they, they grapple. You know, hey, they, they, uh, they love each other like no other. But boom, you, you could get punched in the nose. I have two brothers. I love them. One's a preacher and one's a teacher and a coach. I'm proud of them, but I've punched both of them right in the nose because we grapple. You know why? Because our expectations are ridiculously high for one another. We love each other. We care about each other. We want the best and we want to stink and grow. So you go to school right now. Right now you go to high school and you get what you get. You go back to the values of your home. You do that over and over. When you go to college, you get what you get. You go back to the values of the dorm. What's in there? Is it, is it full of a bunch of horses? And don't get me wrong. Uh, you know, it's not, oh, everyone's a horse. I'm not saying that. We're all, we all tend toward being donkeys because we're selfish. Acting like a horse and thinking right and, and doing those things. I want to be by horses so I can grow, but then I want to be a horse for you. And that's the mentality that we want our guys to have and gals at Bethel as we roll along and we kind of do life together. And I think this, you guys, who you hang out with, I want to be like these guys, all this stuff. When I think about what I'm going to be when I grow up, a dad, <laughs> that's the biggest deal, a, a husband and, and a CEO, whatever you're going to be, uh, I want to get trained with a bunch of people that are aligned with my values. Hey, we, we're, we're looking for something good. We're in, the, we're in the middle of some weird, scary times right now. And I'm, I'm just, it's, it happens to me, I, oh, I kind of start going, what was me? And that's no good because we're supposed to, we're walking in joy. We are walking in joy. We are praying for our buddies and fighting our guts out and grateful for everything. Well, that doesn't, you don't have much room for whining right there. I want to be like people like that. I want to be with people like that. You got to choose a place where, where the soil is rich. And um, the last thing I just want to say is um, Bethel, uh, we're really good and sporty, all that stuff is all is all a big deal but I'm telling you how to find a school um, here's what here's the best thing about the school um, is and the football program and everything is this uh, we're not perfect in any way shape or form but the soil is rich and it's rich because the base of the place is not in being a Baptist or a Catholic or a Lutheran or Covenant or or ED free or whatever it is um, it's about this, the King of Kings sent his son so we could run. He sent his little boy to die and be spit on for us so we could stink and run. How dare we not run? You know, I can, it causes me to come up grateful band and play with joy and work with joy and love with joy. And uh, man, I want to be surrounded by that. That's how you find a school. Find out the place and see what the soil's like. And at Bethel, it's rich. It's still dirt, but boy, it's rich soil. And man, the reason, because the base of the place is in the King of Kings, Jesus Christ, work on a cross, and here we go. I just wanted to share that with you. First of all, line it up. Be aligned academically. Be aligned um, athletically. And, and But moreover, what's bathing those two things is, is the atmosphere and that's basically who you go to school with and who you're taught by and and all those different things you have got to find out where you want to go to school we hope it's Bethel but only if it fits we really do we don't want to 
tell you this and this and this. We're trying to be who exactly who we are in an authentic way. As you kind of go through this process, um, stay in, um, don't get enamored by all great things. We have a beautiful locker room at Bethel. And if you come to Bethel because we have a beautiful locker room, you're, you're a dork. Because here's the deal. Find out who's going to grow you, and then you grow them too. Wow. What a way to live, gang. Let's go.